Yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm over here messing with. Um, it's nighttime and I got a vlog because I'm driving at night. But so I might get dark at some point, and I might get light when the light is lighting. Um, trying to decide if I want to participate in Vlogtober though. What y'all think? I mean, I know it's like, damn, it's October 2nd, though, so you might want to decide soon. Ooh. Did y'all hear that? They trying to fuck my whole front end up. I know, I know, it's October 2nd, so it's like, I gotta make a decision soon. Um, and who knows, by the time this come out, I may have already decided. But, real quick, real quick, because if I do it, then of course, you know, the video's gotta be short. But it's just hard because I be doing a lot all the time. And I don't want this. Y'all be watching me do work and shit, which is what I'm doing most of the fucking time. Oh, my God. I hate these bumpy ass roads. Pissing me off. Fucking up my video. That's the only thing about vlogging in the car in Houston. Shit. Niggas, you gon' Bitch. Anyway. Um... I had expressed on Instagram that I was going to make a video about things you don't do to entrepreneurs. Okay? These are no-nos. These are no-nos. You don't do this to entrepreneurs. Okay? Bitch. Did you just... Did she just... See, let me hurry up and take my motherfucking ass back home because I ain't got time for this bullshit. These people out here tripping. Damn, I can't get my words out. Um, first of all, don't waste their time. Don't waste their time. And it's like, I'm not trying to throw shade. Let me be clear. I'm not trying to throw shade. First of all, I don't throw shade. If I got shit to say, I'm going to say it to you, period. I don't give a fuck who you are or what the situation is. If I got something to say, if I have an issue with something, I'm going to say something. Now, how it come out depends on the situation. But I'm definitely going to say something about it. So this is just in general versus from what I experienced, what entrepreneurs like myself has, have experienced and that we've talked about, it's so many things that y'all need to not do to us because y'all got to understand we're entrepreneurs. And if you're like me, you're a full-time entrepreneur, which means we depend on other humans to pay our bills. We don't have a company that's going to send us a check. We said we depend on humans, and I I don't even like humans, but we depend on humans to pay our light bills and our rent and all the stuff that we have to take care of and do all these things because we want to follow our dream, right? So when you're doing that, whether you're selling something, a service, or a product, or whatever, you got to depend on humans. You got to depend on what's called consumers. Consumers to buy, to consumers to purchase it, you invoice them and they pay. We depend on y'all to pay our bills. So when you don't pay on time, we suffer. And I don't think people take that into account. And it pisses me off because especially in my field or field similar to mine, not I won't say even in my field, in a lot of fields, you're working with an entrepreneur. So I'm an entrepreneur working with another entrepreneur. So if don't nobody else know, you should know how that shit feel when you don't get paid on time. How would you feel if somebody came in and got one of your services or products and they didn't pay you? Or they paid you late? You be pissed off. Then you be charging all kind of late fees and shit and all that. But you doing the same thing that you wouldn't want done to you. That's fucked up. Pay people that shit on time, bruh. You signed the contract. You signed up for the shit. Pay it on time. And then when motherfuckers hit you with late fees, you won't be mad. It's just like, I, look, we not your bills. If you don't pay your bills on time, cool. I like to pay my shit on time. But I can't pay my bills on time if you don't pay me on time. So please do not disrespect us by not paying us on time or paying us at all. Don't do that. This shit is disrespectful because you're going to get your shit cut off. You ain't going to have no more services. And if you anything like me, for instance, I'm in the publishing business. If you don't pay me what you owe me, you ain't getting that book back, cuz. You're not getting that book back. It's not happening. I'm not giving it to you. No. It's mine now. I ain't going to do shit with it, but it's mine. Go rewrite that bitch. That's what I do. And that's what my contract says because you gonna run me my coin. Period. 
If it's accounting and you don't pay me, I ain't doing your shit no more. I'm not sending your financial statements. I'm not doing none of that shit. Hold on, y'all. I'm at Chick fil A. Real quick. Damn it. I forgot to put my phone on. Uh, do not disturb before I start vlogging. But yeah, don't do not do that. Girl, why would I? Why would you do that knowing you still at fucking Chick fil A? My bad, y'all. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. If y'all know, it'd be so funny because I got a couple of clients now that watch my YouTube channel. <laughs> hey, Yolanda, girl. Hey, Lady K. Um, and so it's like they be knowing, <laughs> like me already. Like, no, everybody knows what do I have to have. Can y'all figure it out? I'm trying to pull in the spot where it's a little like. Can y'all figure it out what I got to have every day? Mm -hmm. Y'all know? I'll give you a few minutes. See if you can figure it out. Okay, time's up. Starbucks. Cup of ice. From Chick-fil-A or Sonic specifically, but it gotta be crushed in some way. And the macaroni done. Like, come on. Y'all know I gotta have it every day. It's a thing. Um, but oh, I can cut my light off. I'm just in it. Y'all know I sit in the parking lot and eat per usual. Watch this gonna be hot though. Damn. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. My mama said she don't like it. Can y'all believe that shit? She got her rabbit ass mind. Well, she said it wasn't as good as I claimed it was. But so don't 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 do that. Don't do that. Like that's it's so it's so ungrateful. It's so unprofessional. Like, people are depending on you. Like, people are depending on you. I'm excited to just drive off because I can't eat my damn food in the parking lot. It's too hot. I don't like hot food. So, that's another thing you can know about me. I do not like hot food. Uh, I got a sensitive tongue, and it will burn the shit out of my tongue. But, don't, don't be like that, y'all. Secondly, don't waste their time. Like, do not waste people time because when we set aside time for you then that's taking time out of our day and that's taking time from other clients so if, if somebody book a slot with me and your consultation call is at a certain time on a certain day you booked it based on your schedule right so I expect you to be available during that time because for one somebody else could have had that slot that you took so now you've taken a chance from somebody else and you've wasted my time why do you think people make y'all pay deposits like why do y'all think people make y'all pay deposits it's because of shit like that cancellation fees why do y'all think that stuff exists it exists because people don't know how to respect other people's time and i hate that shit with a passion because you wouldn't want nobody messing with your time. And my friend was like, uh, well, I'm definitely not taking care of because this bad little piney woods, eat them up cats. I don't even know if we want or not. That's horrible. I need to check. I've been asleep most of the day. But you wouldn't want nobody messing up your time, so why would you mess with other, why? Y'all, I must have forgot who I was. Why would you fuck with somebody else's time? Don't do that, bro. Do not do that. It's so disrespectful. Quit playing with people. If you don't want something, then don't don't start the process until you know that you're ready. And if something comes up because emergencies happen, and again, y'all, I'm dark. I, I'm sorry. It's nighttime. Can't do shit about it. So, um, if something happens, cancel the appointment. You can always go in and cancel it or let the person know or something. Like, if you, I mean, come on. I would hate for something to be an emergency to the point where it's like, damn, you either forgot or you can't get to the phone or whatever. Okay, I can give a little bit of grace on that because I'm not half as bad as a lot of people. Like, if anything, Christian gets mad at me because I'm not I'm not mean enough. Like, I'm too nice. Like, I have a late fee charge and all that, and I just sometimes don't even implement it. But you best believe that shit finna change as of now, effective immediately. But... That's why people put all these rules in place and these fees and all this other shit because people be playing. And we got to pay our bills. We don't have time to play with you. There's no room for error. There's no room for games. 
especially for people like me who knew in the game, who just decided to become full-time entrepreneur, now is not the time. Now is not the time. Because now is not the time. But don't waste their time. Pay your stuff on time. Respect the craft. That's another one. Respect their craft. This is what I hate. I hate when people call me and ask me questions, right? So I have a 30-minute free consultation plan or option. And they ask me a million questions. And then use the questions. Basically, it's a way for them to get information out of you without paying. You're not respecting my craft. You call me for help. You call me for a consultation. I'm going to tell you what I do. What I can do for you. That's just like, if you want to publish a book, don't call me asking me what's the steps to publish a book. I'm not going to give you each and every step. Like, respect the craft. If you know I do it, then why are you... No. I learned from a long time ago. My mentor told me the greatest thing ever. She said, secrets are sold and not told. Why would I sit here and tell you everything I do for you to do it for yourself? How does that benefit me? Again, I'm a businesswoman. I'm an entrepreneur. You're, respect the craft. Like, if you if you know, and then you can get some people who think they know what they're doing. If you know, then what you asking me for? If you know the answer. And I'm the type of person, people will tell you, if you have spoken to me, I'm the person where you'll tell me something, I'll be like, no, nah, I don't agree with that. Like, I don't think you should do that. That's a bad idea. Now, at the end of the day, if you want to do it, that's on you. But you can ask anybody I talk to. I will tell you, no, you shouldn't do that. I wouldn't wouldn't recommend that or that's not how that's supposed to be done and if it is something that that's accurate or correct i'd be like you're right you got a good point but respect the craft don't call people like when i go get my hair done and go get my lashes done i don't sit there and tell them how to do it because i don't know how to do it i'm respecting their craft same thing with marketing i'm not finna tell sheridan hey i heard you should do such and such and then you should do this and then you she a marketing expert. She been doing my marketing this long. I ain't saying shit. And it worked the same way. She don't tell me nothing about accounting. I don't tell her nothing about marketing. We get each other shit done, we good. Because I don't know what I'm talking about. And I respect her craft enough to know that she knows what she's doing. It ain't nothing I can say to her that's going to be like, hey, you probably shouldn't be doing that. You should be doing this. Who the fuck am I to say some shit like that? I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. We ain't talking about accounting. We talking about marketing. I y'all know I hate marketing. She's still trying to teach me how to do this. These these reels, shit. The, the, the I ain't got no TikTok. I ain't getting no TikTok. Don't want no TikTok. Everybody already know that. But the reels that's on Instagram, I'm still learning that. And she be having the best ideas, and I be like, girl, you know I'm old. You got to show me how to do shit like that. I don't. I be trying. It's gonna take a minute. I gotta learn because I hate social media enough as it is. It just takes too much effort, but it's it's you, you need it. It's worth it. That's the only way to for your business to succeed. And the only other way for your business to succeed is if people do what the fuck they supposed to do. Shit. Yeah, I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad for all the entrepreneurs out there that have to deal with shit like this. Because again, I'm not the only one. Most of a lot of I have a circle of friends that are entrepreneurs that deal with the same stuff. We be talking about it. Even when I'm doing their accounting and they budgeting, like even with some of the businesses that I do budgeting or accounting uh, assistance with or whatever, it's the same thing with them. Like they business will be struggling or I'll be like, hey, why is this happening with your account or why is this happening with your accounting or whatever? And it's usually because somebody ain't paid their shit on time. And I fucking hate that. Stop doing that to people. Like, people out here trying to live, bro. We don't have companies that are giving us money every week or every two weeks or every month. We don't have that. Shit, if you was at work and you wouldn't treat them like shit or fucking whatever because you wouldn't want to get fired. Well, I don't know because if you anything like me, you don't give a damn. But, again, that's why I work for myself. You wouldn't want people doing that shit to you, so I don't do that shit to other people. It shit hurt. You know how stressful it is when you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to figure out where the hell your next meal going to come from or 
how you gonna pay this bill and that bill and all that because somebody didn't do something right you gotta rely on humans and i'm sorry but most humans or a lot of humans i ain't gonna say most humans i'll bag that up all the fuck wrong i am not good at this whole bagging up thing y'all that's just running on my forte that's that shit ronnie be doing um i'll be having to concentrate man forgive me Cause baby, I am not one to try to hit these poles. But yeah, you wouldn't want nobody doing this shit to you, bro. So don't do that shit to us, fam. That's all I came to say. It's 15 minutes in the game. I got to give. Um, if I'm gonna be doing vlogs over, then I got to do 10 no more than 15 minutes. So I holla at y'all later. Sorry I had to get a little aggressive, but things needed to be said. It needs to be said. So, you know, hope ain't nobody take offense. If you did, eh, I don't know what to do about it. I'm always me. I already did a video on that. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I was so damn mad I forgot to say it in the beginning. But you already know I'm going to say it. So, quit playing. i wait. You should have did it already. It should have been done. So, I'm assuming that you subscribe. Okay, cool. Bet. So I'll see y'all in the next one. And please don't forget what I said. Respect entrepreneurs and respect your fellow brethren and sisters. Especially those of the melanin skin. Because you know it's even harder for us out here. Alright? Peace.